This is an E-Rod remote control used to control my electronic drapes and I dropped it on the floor from about three feet up and it stopped opening and closing my drapes. Although when you push the button the little red light flashes and although you can't see it in real life the camera here can see that the infrared signal is still coming out of the end of it. So the first thing I did is check the batteries. They're nice and strong. Um, then I had to, the battery compartment just pulls off. This guy here I had to pry off with a screwdriver. It snaps off. There were four screws holding this circuit board down. Um, so I went through the whole circuit board and looked for anything obviously broken. Don't see anything obviously broken. I reflowed the solder on these guys here. I verified that these guys here are sending out infrared signals when I push the button on it. Um, so, my suspicion is this little guy here, CRB455E. It's the only component that kind of is free floating. Um, it's connected by two connectors. And when I look it up online, it's an oscillator to make this guy oscillate at the right frequency for the detector inside. Um, and seeing as how these guys are still sending out an infrared signal, it's just not being detected to operate the receiver, I suspect the crystal, when I dropped the remote, somehow got broken or smashed or cracked, so it's not operating at the right frequency. If you have an oscilloscope, you could check this, I suppose. Um, but I just bought a bunch of these on the internet. I think there's like $5 for 10 of them. The only problem is I have to wait till they ship from China. So I do have an oscilloscope, and according to this, the frequency of the small pulse train here is 62.71 kilohertz. This is on the guy that does not work correctly, so after I repair it, I'll see what the measurement says then. Alright, my 10-pack of crystal oscillators has arrived from Kyrgyzstan. The number on the bottom, 455 EC, doesn't quite match the number over here, which is... CRB455E. These guys are CQZTB455EC. Doesn't exactly match the auction listing, but it's probably a compatible part. So we're going to solder it in and see if this thing works any better with it. Okay, I soldered in the new crystal. Pulse tray now has a frequency of 38.2 kilohertz, which is about half of what it was with the one that wasn't working. So we're going to put this thing back together and try it on the actual receiver. All right, here goes nothing. Aha. So yes, it looks like the crystal oscillator had broken and the carrier frequency was off. And by replacing it, everything's fixed.